Hello everyone, uh, how's it going? I hope you're well and uh, yeah, welcome to another one of my collection videos. Uh, so just giving you an update on what I have from each country. Um, yeah, anyway, today's countries are Lithuania and uh, Luxembourg. Uh, <laughs> bit of an unusual combination, I have to admit. But um, yeah, anyway, I'll go through what I have from each of those countries and kind of give you an idea of what my favourites are from each of those, uh, like I have in previous videos. So uh, yeah, I think we will get started. Okay, so uh, first up we'll go to uh, Lithuania. So I have a couple of little oddities to show uh, from there uh, that I've managed to get. So uh, these are 1 euro 50 coins that uh, Latvia, or Lithuania sorry, <laughs> releases. Uh, kind of like extra little commemorative coins. So I've got one example here from 2018 for Johnny's Razos. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I think that's something to do with like a summer fest festival or something like that. But uh, the bit that I really liked about this coin was actually the back, uh, showing Yitfis in this kind of style, like little water bubbles. I think that was really cool. There we go. And uh, then we have the second one here. I think it's to do with... Uh, Beekeeping, tree beekeeping, or something like that. And yeah, this one's from 2020. And again, I just really liked the style that they portrayed uh, Yitvis there. They're the coat of arms. Anyway, that is the oddities I have from Lithuania. I might get more of those 1 euro 50 coins, uh, maybe. Okay, so we'll go into the commemorative coins, commemorative 2 euro coins. So La uh, Lithuania has released uh, 15 of them and I have uh, 14 of them. Um, but yeah, we'll get started with the common issue coins released by Lithuania. So here we go, uh, just, just two of them. Uh, so we have the 30th anniversary of the EU flag from 2015. And then um, we have the 35th anniversary of the Erasmus program from 2022. So that is, uh, Lithuania has only released two commemorative coin, uh, two common issue commemorative coins. Uh, I think because they only joined in 2015, so they missed out on the other ones. But uh, yeah, we'll get into the good stuff, the unique coins from uh, Lithuania. Uh, and yeah, I like I don't dislike any coin from Lithuania in particular, but I, I think I do have a top five of them anyway So uh, we'll get to that eventually, but the uh, first coin we'll start with is uh, this one from 2021 For the Seventus Nature Reserve uh, Biosphere. I think it's a UNESCO uh, natural heritage site And there's something to do with an error with this coin because I think it was Latvia who produced the coins for Lithuania and they accidentally put the Latvian edge inscription on these coins and a certain amount of them So keep an eye out for them, but uh, you know, that'd be a miracle to find one of them <laughs> Right, so then we have uh, this coin from 2022 to mark the centenary of uh, Basketball like officially being in Lithuania like an official game. I think it was the first official basketball in game a uh, basketball game in Lithuania and basketball is absolutely huge in Lithuania. <laughs> I think it's like the favorite sport. So yeah, it's kind of cool. They made the outline of the country like a, a basketball court. Okay, next up we have the first and kind of one of their coins for the regions. Uh, this one and um, now I'm I don't think I'm going to attempt pronouncing it because I'm going to get it so wrong, but this is Sematia. <laughs> I apologize to the Lithuanians watching, but no, I mightn't, I mightn't, I mightn't attempt pronouncing, pronouncing these places. <laughs> then we have another one here, uh, this is for 2021. And then the final one I have of those kind of region coins is this one from 2020. Again, they show the coat of arms of different regions, so I think that's pretty cool. I wish Ireland had coins like these <laughs> for, for the four provinces of Ireland. Okay, uh, then we have this coin here for uh, from 2017 for Vilnius, a city of culture. 
a nice uh, cityscape scene. Uh, one from 2018 here for the Centenary Song Festival, song celebration. Unusual looking coin, I think. Right, so I think uh, we're into the top five of my Lithuanian coins. So starting off is this coin from 2018 to mark the centenary of the independence of the Baltic states. So Lithuania, as well as Estonia and Latvia, released a coin with the exact same design. So they all, all three countries uh, released this coin to mark their centenary of independence. Just with the name difference, obviously, different country name on the coins. Okay, so uh, fourth position goes to this coin here from 2019 uh, for the Souterines. Suter you know, really nice detailed design. Okay, uh, bronze medal, the third place uh, for Lithuania goes to this coin from 2020 for the Hill of Crosses. Um, <laughs> the story about this place is really unusual, <laughs> really mad. Um, basically, I think it was like the site of an old fort and there was a great battle with uh, the Russian army against, um, I guess, some Lithuanian um, occupiers of the fort and they were, all, they were all killed. And I think it started off with like one cross being placed and then people would go over to visit the, the old fort and the hill and leave their own little cross behind as a memento and it just kept growing and growing and growing until the whole hill got covered in crosses um yeah it's a completely mad place i think i'd love to go to it one day but yeah no no fair play to lithuania marking one of their more unusual sites on a coin Right, uh, second position. Now this was nearly, nearly the first place, uh, but a uh, silver medal goes to this coin from 2016, uh, celebrating Baltic culture. So an example of an amber disc with incised decoration. And uh, no, it just it looks really cool. And because amber was like a very big deal um, in ancient times, in the Baltic states and medieval times. No, and I really love this design. I'd love to come across that one in a coin hunt one day. Maybe 2023 will happen. <laughs> right, so first place, uh, my gold medal for Lithuania goes to this coin from 2015, celebrating the Lithuanian language. So we have one example of a Lithuanian word here, achu, which is the Lithuanian for thank you. And then you just have like all letters and words in the background. I think it's just a really, really cool coin. Really beautiful. And celebrating like Lithuania's own language, the Lithuanian language. And I've been fortunate enough for it to be a coin that I found in a coin hunt as well. And I decided to keep that one too. <laughs> so yeah, no, no, this is my favorite coin from Lithuania. Right, so just put that there. Okay, so that is it. There are all my uh, Lithuanian coins in my collection. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you agree with my ranking there. And um, yeah, we'll see what the next few years bring for Lithuanian coins. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll move on to the next country. Okay, so now we move on to uh, Luxembourg. So we're going straight into uh, commemorative coins. Uh, so we'll start with the... Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, let's see. Luxembourg have released uh, 36 commemorative coins in total, and I think I have about 20 of them. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we'll get started into the common issued coins. I'll fit them in somehow. There we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as you can see, I've bought all of them because I <laughs> didn't think I'll ever find them. Uh, but anyway, one thing one that I did find myself is the, um, the 50th anniversary of the Treaty of Rome from 2007. Now you're going to notice with the Luxembourgish uh, coins of these, like the common issues, this weird kind of hologram or little weird extra thing to them. Uh, that is because of a, a law in Luxembourg that the head of state has to appear on every coin issued. Uh, so to get around kind of the design of these coins, um, 
Luxembourg added like an extra feature, like a little hologram that's meant to show the portrait of Grand Duke Henry in it. You won't see it in this example, but I'll, I'll show you in the ones I bought. But anyway, we're back. Uh, yeah, anyway, 50th anniversary of the Treaty of Rome. One that's turned up a couple of times in my coin hunts. Okay, uh, next we'll go to uh, the 10 years of Euro coins and banknote, uh, 10 years of the EMU, sorry, I should say, uh, from 2009. So there you can see the actual design of it there. And if I tilt it that way, you'll see Grand Duke Henry. So I will give it to Luxembourg, that is a kind of like a cool effect. But again, <laughs> does Grand Duke Grand Henry really have to be on every coin? You can, you can change that rule. <laughs> anyway. Uh, then we have um, the 10 years of euro coins and banknotes from 2012. Uh, there we see a little euro symbol there. And see if we get Grand Duke Henry there. You can kind of see him there. Uh, then we have the 30th example, uh, 30th, <laughs> 30th anniversary of the EU flag from 2015. So you kind of see the stars on his portrait appearing at the same time. And then the more recent one is the 35th program, 35th anniversary of the Erasmus program. God, I'm mixing up my words so much. <laughs> but instead of putting Grand Duke Henry's portrait there, they just decided to go with his monogram, which you might just be able to make out the H there. So that is a cool feature of Luxembourgish coins, but like I do wish like they could change the rules that his portrait doesn't have to appear on every coin. But uh, anyway, we'll get on. <laughs> Right, so on to the unique coins. Now, um, I won't try to hide the fact that I've said multiple times that the Luxem Luxembourgish coins are like my least favourite in the Eurozone, so I haven't... I've, it was difficult to choose one I actually liked as my favourite, so there's not really a ranking. Maybe there's the top... of the top four, so we'll go with that. Any, everything else is just a little bit random, but... I, I do have a general dislike for the coins from Luxembourg, and sorry to anyone in Luxembourg watching. Uh, well, actually, maybe you agree with me <laughs> in a bit. But uh, yeah, anyway, we'll get started. We'll go through them. Okay, so let's see. First one here is for um, oh God, one of the, and I will say I, I can't remember every single one of these teams of the coins. There's so much to do with the Grand Dukes, previous Grand Dukes and Grand Duchesses. So do bear with me. I'll have the info down below. So I think this one from 2008 is uh, Chateau Berg, one of the royal residences. Uh, one here from 2022 for the 10th wedding anniversary of Crown Grand, Crown Grand Duke Guillaume and his wife Stephanie. Uh, with another 2022 coin, uh, this is for the 50th anniversary of the legal protection of the Luxembourgish flag. The thing about Luxembourg, they're really pacific about random stuff on their coins. Um, okay, one from 2014. Um, the oh god, 50th anniversary of when Grand Duke Jean became the Grand Duke. <laughs> Uh, I think this is one for the Grand uh, Duchess Charlotte Bridge in Luxembourg City. From 2016, I think the anniversary of that. Um, something to do with uh, Grand Duke Guillaume the Fourth, William the Fourth, uh, from 2012. And let's see, then we have this one from 2017 for William III, Guillaume III. I don't know what it is. <laughs> 200th anniversary of his birth, maybe. Okay, then we have this one for the Grand D D Ducal Palace in Luxembourg City. Uh, one for the 175th anniversary of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg from 2014. We have the 50th anniversary of the Luxembourgish army in from 2017. 
And let's see, then we have this one for the Centenary of Universal Suffrage from 2019. Okay, so now we're kind of getting into my top four, and this is like really rough because I have to choose something as my favorite from Luxembourg. <laughs> okay, so uh, fourth position goes to this one, um, dedicated to the national anthem of Luxembourg. Kind of cool, I just got the text and the music notes for the anthem there, so I'll, I'll give it that. That's it, I'll leave that there. <laughs> Uh, then we have this one from 2004 for the the use of monograms, I think, or something like that. Um, this is one of, one coin that I have found in the coin hunt once as well. But um, no, it's cool, I guess, seeing the big monogram on the coin, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, then we have uh, this one from 2005 for... Um, Grand Duke Adolphe, I think the 50th, 50th birthday of Grand Duke Henry and the centenary of the death of Grand Duke Adolphe, maybe? But uh, this is one I've come across a couple of times in coin hunts as well. And there's a, di a different kind of style of portrait anyway, than compared to the other Luxembourgish coins. Okay, so that means that my first uh, place, my favourite coin from Luxembourg, if I had to choose one, is uh, this one from 2011, uh, I think celebrating, well, Grand Duchess Charlotte, Grand Duke Jean, and Grand Duke Henry. And the bit that I like about this coin is just the design on the outside, that kind of textured design going around the edge. And that's why I picked it as number one. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry Luxembourg, but I just, I don't like your commemorative coins at all. Um, but anyway, there, that is all I have from Luxembourg at the minute. So, um, yeah, uh, I, guess, I don't know what else to say about Luxembourg, apart from apologies. Um, but yeah, that's that. <laughs> okay, so that is it. That are, there are my coins from Lithuania and Luxembourg. So hopefully you agree with um, my favourite from each of those countries. Uh, sure, let me know down in the comments which is your favourite from uh, Lithuania and from Luxembourg uh, but anyway there'll be more of these videos coming up there's still quite a few countries to go and uh, yeah again there's also going to be my two euro coin hunts as well and any other video I come up with as well during the weeks but uh, anyway until then uh, thank you for watching <laughs>